Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slapper Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I have another episode that is a viewer request on what I do with leftover cooked brisket since I have so many brisket videos on my channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I make a hash brown casserole with some of the leftover brisket and show you a few ingredients that you can use right from your freezer or your local Walmart to create a wonderful dish casserole that you can serve to your family and also save it for your lunches. one can of uh, cream of chicken soup in a lasagna pan added a little bit of a biscuit pad batter to it to create kind of a slurry use a little bit of half and half to make a liquid here and we're gonna add now a little bit of the brisket lay it at the bottom so lay it with some uh, potatoes from Walmart a little bit of the uh, cream cheese mixed with some green chili that I had left over and uh, mix it together. I'm going to put it on now. It's a nice green chili potato brisket casserole. And now uh, you can use whatever you have in your refrigerator. This is a great way to repurpose also any kind of leftovers you have in your fridge. I created sort of a, a little bit of a cheese mixture here. We're going to add a little bit of cheese in a second. I have some cheddar. Get some cheddar. Whatever cheese you like. I like cheddar. So we're kind of using the potatoes like a layer. Kind of like a lasagna layer. Instead of using the lasagna noodles, I'm using the potato. And a little bit of pepper jack cheese. And a little bit more of the green chili. Spread it out nice and evenly. I'm going to add some more liquid and we use some cream of chicken again. Hold it out and push it down. Some mozzarella on top. Top with a little bit of cooked bacon. And we're ready. There you have it. We're going to put it into a 400 degree oven for about uh, 40 minutes. We're going to do the first half covered. There you have it, a super simple, easy brisket leftover recipe. Anytime you have tater tots in the fridge, you can go ahead and make this for yourself and donate also if you have to first responders around your neighborhood or anybody who needs some extra meals.